Christian Y. Smith is running for Fulton County DA and he's running against Fonnie Willis. Today, I just want to show you an interview that he did recently. It's pretty good. Give you a good opportunity to hear a little bit more about this young man, what he's doing, and whether or not he's earned your vote on May 21st election. So let's go check it out. Let's go. Thanks for being with us. I'm 11 Lives Jennifer Bellamy, and joining me today is Christian Y. Smith, Fulton County candidate for district attorney. Christian, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. We appreciate your time. So tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and your experience for those who may not be as familiar with you. So one of the reasons I'm running for Fulton County district attorney because, is because it's very personal for me. I grew up in the system. You know, my childhood, I saw my mom in and out of the system. I saw her get arrested several times. I was with my grandmother once and saw her get arrested. One of my uncles is serving a life sentence for murder. And you know, th that's kind of the, the storyline from my childhood. You know, things got so bad that my mom lost custody of me at one point. Uh, I was kicked out of school. I was selling stolen clothes out of the trunk of my car, just trying to survive. You know, I've slept on floors. I've slept in cars. I've missed meals. So overcoming all of that, uh, I never thought that I would finish high school. You know, let alone you know, going to be the first of my family to graduate from college and I got a master's degree and you know, obviously a, a law degree afterwards so you know, becoming a, a prosecutor was uh, not in the plans at least I didn't think so but now that I am seeking an office like this and now that I have the experience of being a prosecutor for seven years I think I see the justice system in a very unique way that most people who work in it see. I have to ask you, how did that shift happen for you? Because oftentimes we hear about people who come from uh, an environment where they are seeing those types of things so frequently that they go down that path as well. How did that shift for you? It was actually a police officer who stepped in and told me he saw some potential in me and some leadership and, and told me that I could be a little bit differently than some of the things I was seeing in my neighborhood. You know, he showed up for me when no one else was. And that's one of the things that I want to do with Fulton County DA. I want to show up for our kids. You know, I want to speak positively into their lives and I want them to see law enforcement in a positive way that they typically don't see. And I think that will be one of the big shifts and big changes that I bring to the office. Also, it's something that's attainable for them in their lives as well. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. All right. So I, I know you've run for office before. I know you have a history in working with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. What's really driving you to run for this particular office? So in addition to, you know, my personal background that I just mentioned and, you know, my professional background, you know, I feel like I'm being called to do this. You know, this job is bigger than myself. You know, I want to do something so bold and so different that the White House will call us in Fulton County and say, you guys are the model for how we do you know, criminal justice and how do we do what you guys are doing in Fulton County. And we're gonna focus on three things. We're gonna make the office uh, focus on victim-centered prosecution. We're gonna end mass incarceration and dismantle the school to prison pipeline. If we do those three, those three things, we'll see a really big shift in Fulton County that really helps keep our families and our citizens safe in ways that we aren't seeing right now. We've seen some really big personalities, some really big folks who have held this office before in the past. Uh, we know that Fonnie Willis, the incumbent, is running again. Why should voters look to you instead of her? Well, you know, so one, I didn't jump in this race to, you know, throw any personal attacks at her. You know, I don't believe in campaigning that way. I'm not sure when politics became about, you know, who can say the worst thing about their opponent. You know, it should be about what you want to bring to the job. And I know her personal life has become very uh, public. And, you know, I feel for her in that sense. But my vision for the office is completely different than hers. You know, right now she's focused on Trump and, and rightfully so, but that leaves so many people in Fulton County vulnerable. If you think about what's going on in the jail, you know, the ACLU brought a lawsuit against the DA's office for having people sit in jail for too long. People are dying in, in the jail because of the horrible conditions there. So there are a lot of things being neglected by so much focus and energy and time and resources and manpower really going toward one case that is negatively impacting the rest of us in Fulton County. And so I want the people of Fulton County to know 
that if I'm elected and should that case still be there once I take office, that we're not only gonna focus on that case like we should, but we're gonna make sure we're addressing everything else too. You beat me to all my questions because I was <laughs> gonna ask you, what would you do as district attorney in terms of the case involving former President Donald Trump and, and other co-defendants? So we all know, we all heard the, the phone call, we all know, you know a lot of the facts that happened surrounding that case. You know, there's a lot of chaos and controversy going on with that. But it is a case that most people in Fulton County care about, and, and a lot of people across the country have eyes on that case, and they want to see justice brought forward. And if I take office and that case is there, we're going to do just that. My fear is because of some of the chaos you know, going on around the office and around that case, that the case might be in jeopardy right now, and the case might be gone before I take office. And that was one of the concerns that a lot of voters had before I jumped in the race. Like, if I jump in the race, they were fearful that somehow that would cause the case uh, to, be, to go away, uh, or they thought that I would not want to see the case through. But that's not what we want to do at all. We want to see that case through. We want to see justice served. You also talked about the Fulton County Jail. There's been a lot of uh, criticism there um, to the sheriff, but also to the district attorney's office and other processes in our uh, judicial system for creating a situation where some of these people are still there. What would you do to help alleviate some of the, the crowding issues and anything else going on over there in the Fulton County Jail that you could address as district attorney? So I think that all ties into wanting to end mass incarceration being you know, one of the, the keystones of our platform. And you do that by reshifting some of the resources in the office. You know, if you think about mental health issues and substance addiction and homelessness, right now we use the jail to fix those issues. And that, that ties into the overcrowding issues in the jail. But if we partner with community resource providers who specialize in those areas, and we can help the individuals suffering from those things, in the DA's office, we can reshift our resources, our manpower, our time on the more violent and serious crimes that really impact our safety. You know, a lot of women don't feel safe stopping to pump gas at night in Fulton County because of the issues at the pump. You know, d victims of domestic violence, you know, and I know victims of domestic violence who feel like that their cases are being neglected and overlooked because so much energy and time is going elsewhere. So if we make that shift, that's how we do it. We alleviate the problems in the jail. We make the citizens and the families of Fulton County feel safer. And all of the, the attention and the money and the manpower ain't going, excuse me, is not going toward one case or one thing. It's addressing everything in Fulton County. Now, one more case I need to ask you about because there's a lot of attention on, on, on several cases that we're seeing in the county. Uh, what would you do or what would your, be, your approach be as district attorney if elected uh, in terms of the YSL RICO case? So that case, you know, trial is already underway. You know, there's already a jury in place for that case. I don't think it would be fair for me to speculate on that case. You know, one of the things that we learned as attorneys is, you know, we'll get an objection if we speculate. So, you know, I, I, I will say that there are some things that I would do differently, but I don't think it's fair for me to go further than that. One, because I don't know, you know, all of the evidence that the DA's office plans to present in that case. Uh, but I will say, you know, that throughout the country, there have been prosecutions that used music, excuse me, that used music lyrics against black men specifically. And I don't agree with that. I also want to get your thoughts on the Prosecuting Attorneys Qualification Commission. There's been a lot of talk about that recently. And there have been other district attorneys office outside of Fulton County working to um, fight that. What's your take on that? And as Fulton County's district attorney, what would be your stance on that? Prosecutors have discretion on how to best handle cases you know, in, in the safest way for the citizens and the counties that we serve. And so I know that that, uh, that entity, I believe that it was created with certain individuals in mind to either keep in check or, or have certain power over to remove from office. But I would stand firm in what it is we wanna do for Fulton County. You know, one of the things that 
Um, it's a big issue for me is marijuana possession cases. I believe marijuana should be legalized. I believe we waste a lot of resources and time on those cases. And I know that there have been some prosecutors in, in the state, uh, in Athens specifically, I believe in Cobb County, who've taken a stance on not wanting to prosecute those cases. And I know that some folks um, don't like that stance. But, you know, using diversion programs and helping people uh, stay on track in ways like that is under the purview of what a district attorney could do, and I would do those things. I would do everything within my power uh, to make sure that we are, one, keeping our county safe, but then two, not putting ourselves in a position where we continue to see the cycle of recidivism. You know, the definition of insanity is to do the, th the same thing over and over and expecting different results. And right now, from our justice system, we keep doing the same thing over and over. We throw folks in jail, we expect them to get out and do something different, but we're not giving them the resources and the opportunities to do anything different. So we need to fix that. All right, so the election, the primary election will be here before we know it. What would your message be to voters in Fulton County as they get ready to either head out to their polling location or fill out their absentee ballots? What would your message be to them? My message to everybody in Fulton County is get excited. Right, get excited for fresh energy, for new ideas, to see our county become the safest county in the state and the country. Get excited for change. Right, Get excited for somebody who doesn't have any controversy or any scandal going on. Get excited for something new and different that we can do together. So I'm asking everybody to vote for Christian Wise Smith for Fulton County District Attorney on May 21st. And where can people find more information about you? Where can they get in touch with you? Where should they be looking? WiseSmithForDA.com is the website. IG is Attorney Wise Smith. Twitter is at Christian Wise Smith. Facebook, Christian Wise Smith. All right. Christian Wise Smith, candidate for Fulton County District Attorney. Thank you so much for your time today. Uh, thank you. So, what do you think, Fulton County? May 21st, that's the day to make your decision. Are you going to vote for Christian Wise Smith or are you going to go with Fonnie Willis? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Feel free to let us know. And until next time, everybody, grace and peace.